Hi guys, it's BB. Welcome back to my channel, my beautiful monarch butterflies. I hope that all of y'all are having a lovely, lovely day. And also, happy Thrifty Thursday! Thrifty Thursday is hosted by Sherry over at Turquoise Dreaming. So, this is a new thrift shop that just recently opened. It is called Restore. It once upon a time used to be a church and now they have transformed it. It is now a thrift shop. They don't, however, sell anything crafty. So this is more or less like furniture where they sell maybe like home goods, portraits, paintings, books, uh, tiles, stoves, things like that. So here I am bringing you guys up to a lemon themed shelf where they have tons of kitchen goodies. And I just figured I'd show you this because it kind of looks like it was hand embroidered. And also this little tin here, I am drawn to tins, but I decided to open it up and it had some wonderful smelling lemony soap. You can see it there. I wish you guys could smell it. It smelled amazing. And compared to most thrift shops, I think that the furniture that is donated here is actually in really, really good shape. I decided to take some time and check out the book section. And they also had a vintage sewing machine there that is in the color teal. And I thought that was so fascinating. And here's Paul playing with a little bit of trinkets. Below that was also another sewing machine that looked like it was in pretty good shape. I, however, did not find any books here that I could take home with me, but maybe on the next one. And here I have brought y'all to the back of the store. This is more exterior or patio furniture with bikes and anything maybe for like outdoor activities. The first time I had set foot into this thrift shop, I was hoping that upon walking to the back of the thrift shop that I would maybe perhaps find like clothes or shoes, things like that, but there was none of that. You can clearly see that there's just cabinets for your kitchen and or for your bathroom, which was slightly disappointing, but oh well. And here's Paul looking at a vintage alarm clock that he thought was so very super cool. And here I am just looking at some bedding, maybe even some glances. I don't know if I said that right, but they had them in baskets and everything was like $20 and up, which I thought was a little too overpriced for my liking. And there's Paul looking at some TV while I am shopping. And here I came up on some encyclopedias that I figured I'd flip through and see if I found anything cool in them. The pages were however glossy and I prefer something more on the matte side. So I did leave these behind. And then here I came across another typewriter and I just think they are the coolest thing and I just went to check it out and show it off to you guys. nearing the end of this vlog i want to thank you guys for coming along with me and for shopping with me in today's video if you want to see what i got keep on watching i hope that y'all enjoyed that vlog i know that i did i had fun looking for these treasures so let's go ahead and jump right in and show you guys what i ended up getting um i hope that i mentioned in the video that i had gone to several different thrift shops and ended up going back to this one to getting these goodies so let's go ahead and show you guys what i ended up getting let me put this to the side without making too much noise and i'll pull out my first item so i had featured this in a in my last thrifty vlog i had to go back and get it this one did come out to five dollars let me see if i can find the pricing on here i know it's in here somewhere oh my gosh there it is <laughs> and this is the easy scrapbooking calendar it says, don't throw yesterday away, just crop it. So if by any chance I want to, I can just snip this off and keep that. Um, and the first time I didn't grab it because I was going to see what else I would find within the thrift shop. But here is a fast little flip 
through of what's to be expected in this awesome box. Aren't these stunning? And it looks like they don't just put in one of the same like picture. It looks like they put it in here quite a bit. I've seen two of them that already looked very similar. So I know y'all don't want to be here all day, but some of it has been cut into, but that's okay. It's fine by me because we're crafters and we find cool little neat ways to use our stuff, right? So isn't that pretty? So different themes, a little bit of every single thing you could imagine. Look at them cars, those vintage cars. Love that. I know there's a lot, huh? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I keep going, but it's just, it's a huge box. So I think it was pretty well worth the $5. You guys let me know what you think. I should probably mention the thickness of it, just in case if you want to look for this find yourself, perhaps through, uh, oh, look, there was Hanukkah, huh? Um, perhaps through like Etsy, Poshmark, eBay. So, oh, my bad. Um, they are kind of on the thinner side. They are a matte finish, so I very much like that. There is nothing on the back, but I figured I'd say that, mention it, because you very well might be interested in this kind of box. And I don't know if there's different themes, but you see this one's back, dated back from 2005. So that is the first item that I got. The next item that I got was some material, some fabric. And I, um, anytime that I go into like thrift shops, I, I am now looking for like Disney books or little golden books and stuff. I want to start altering them. I find that I struggle a little bit to figure out what to put on a cover. And I notice that it just makes it less stressful for me when they're Disney books because I don't really have to do much to the front of it. I can mainly just work on like embellishing. This is a very decent sized fabric. And let me see where the price is. Here it is. So this was three bucks, and it does not say how much it is, but there is quite a bit of this. And I could even maybe even use this for like a boho journal too. So, so pretty. I have yet to start a boho one, but I do plan on making one one day. So that is the second find. So we have $8 piled up here. The next item that I picked up are these Prima flowers. They have been through something. <laughs> you can see the packaging's pretty beat up, but that's okay. It at one point was $4.99, and then before that it was $5.99, and now I got it for one buck. And I got six of them there, and they have a little jewel on the inside. And maybe I could even recycle the packaging that you can see there in the background. Next up, I have this K and Company uh, stick embossed stickers that kind of reminded me of wallpaper. I think it's very, very pretty. It has like borders, corners, whatever you want to call it. This at some point was $2.99 and is an 18 piece set. And I do believe she said that this was a quarter. Next item that I picked up. I gasped when I saw this because I thought this was fantastic. This is a 25 cent vintage playing card set. Yes, you heard me right, 25 cents. And they are so cute. I love the floral in it and I think they are so fun. I will be sharing some of these with my crafty friends. I know some of you guys like vintage, you know, I, I see you, Dale. And here we have some ribbon bouquet accessories. It's a two piece flower set. They are very pretty. They have these little pearls. I love pearls. Um, I know, know they're not real, but that's fine. I think they're great. You can use them for maybe some apparel, some home decorations and crafting projects, which that is pretty much me right there crafting. Got two more items left and we are done. This next one is a Tim Holtz Ideology Ephemera Pack. And I instantly grabbed it because I thought this was such a good buy. It is 111 pieces. You can see it right there. A lot of this times now I've gotten hooked because of Kim. Over at Kim's Inspired Life, she got me my first little Tim Holtz pack. And ever since then, I've been addicted to Tim Holtz. <laughs> but I went ahead and I grabbed it because I thought that was such a cool find. 
and something like this would cost what five bucks you want to know how much i paid for this you guys a quarter <laughs> a quarter i was so happy all right and last but not least i found a pack of these um golden clothes what are these called clothes pins i don't know but there's a lot in there and i like the color because they're not your standard silver and i think these would look really pretty on projects and that was it you guys thank you so much for coming along on these thrifty finds to seeing what i ended up hauling i hope that y'all ended up liking all my goodies and i can't wait to read y'all's comments all right you guys y'all take care and i will catch y'all on the next one bye <laughs>